handle them very carefully because words have power more than atom bombs. Those were words of Pearl Hard. This morning I woke up on the one of the beaches of an East African country and behind me there you can see some boats and I, this morning I saw a ship, a very big ship pass by but also I heard the thudder of the waves on the shores with a lot of forceful uh, banging on the shores and it brought to me the idea of the tongue the power of the words that come from our mouth. Words have power. Words can either create or destroy. Words, like the sea, the way it is banging against uh, the, the shores, they can be able to bring power and increase or they can destroy. There are a couple of things why we need to watch the words that come out of our mouth. Because in Proverbs, we are told the words of your mouth determine your life. Also, the Quran, the Quran normally says that a person's tongue can give you the taste of their heart. So there are a couple of things that you require to be careful about. Number one, always say something positive about yourself in the morning. That this day I'm grateful that I'm alive. This day I am going to make it. They say this day I'm managing it. This day is under my control. So the words of your mouth determines your day. Say something positive always every day that you wake up. The second important thing about the words of your mouth speak gratitude because when you have a grateful heart you have power in your words speak gratitude about what you have right now because there are so many people who are crying to have maybe just a quarter of what you have so speak gratitude gratitude every day and we are told when you speak gratitude then you are you availeth so much in yourself also, the third thing that is very critical about the words that we choose is that look at the positive things that are happening in life. Amplify the positive things. Currently or recently I've seen so many news about murder, rape, prison break, about uh, typhoons. But there are also good news. One of the banks in our Kenyan country recorded almost uh, billions of uh, profit after tax. We also have uh, a couple that uh, got a child. In fact, they got twins after two miscarriages. Those are positive news. So amplify the positive news in your environment. When you find a negative environment, people talking negatively, try to look at the positive element and amplify it because that will become our reality it doesn't mean that you run away from the reality. Yes, you appreciate, but you also ensure that you create positivity around you. As I conclude, because this is going to be a shorter video, I just want to say this, that words can choose and change your life. The words you choose, if they are positive, life you'll see it as half full. The glass will be half full. But if they are negative, the glass will be half empty. And those are two different abundance mindset uh, personalities. Those who see life as glass half full, they will see that they have enough. They can be able to share. And the more you share, yesterday, as we drove into this town, which is on the coastline of one of the East African countries, the Kabi, the guy who drove us, gave us of a local businessman who has uh, taken it upon himself to fence all public schools in that town. He has also, he is giving food away to the poor. I'm told, I think, tw twice in a week. Large amount of food on two feeding points. Has fenced all the public schools and I think even all the public health institutions in the town. That businessman 
even if whatever he does, I'm told I think he's in the cement business. He also does, um, I think even cooking oil, he, is, he has a factory. That businessman is going to find plenty because he's already realizing he has plenty and he wants to give it away. And the more you give, the more you get. Choose words of gratitude. As I conclude, I want to say this. When I saw that ship as it was moving down, a ship is normally controlled by a very small item called a radar. A, re, a radar. A radar, we are told, is like the tongue in your mouth. Your body, your life is controlled by the words that comes from your mouth. Like that big ship that is controlled by a radar, your body, your life is controlled by the words that comes from your mouth. What you choose to look at is a gratitude. So there is power in your words. As you go out today, be positive, think positive, speak positive, spread positive. Joe Newton.